All right, y'all. It's your boy Afro Yanko here, actually. Now, first, if any of y'all have been here since 2019 in January when I did start this game, when I did start this channel, you've probably seen my name change maybe two to three times. Um, I did it again. Yeah, I did it again. First, we were Afro Game Prodigy, which we still kind of are. Then we were AGP, but Afro Grandpa was in my way. And so now I decided to change my name. Um, the name comes from, I don't know, if y'all watch One Piece, you already know what a Yonko is. They're supposed to be Emperors of the Sea. So y'all are now my pirate crew. You feel me? And, um, you know what I mean? We're going to have a new graphic design and a new Jolly Roger and all that. So y'all are now my Afro pirate crew. All right. But with that being said, um, yeah, we about to get into this. This is not the video I was working on by any means for the last couple of days. Actually, Cyberpunk just surprised us with some new gameplay footage on the new Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S uh, or one. I don't even remember which one it is. But either way, we about to watch this. I'm still working on another video that's actually about Assassin's Creed, but we're going to I'm going to try and drop that later tonight. But at best, it'll at worst, it'll be out tomorrow. All right, but uh, enough of that chatting. Let's get into this. You don't believe in no fame. Every day the grave. All right, well, right now they just showing us the uh, parts of the trailer from some shit we've been seeing. Let's get it. Hello and welcome to a Who's special good, Holly? Night City Y video this. that we've had a you. lot of requests for. With Cyberpunk 2077 now launching on December 10th, a few of you have been Yo, waiting heard... to see the game running on console. It is so coming out on December 10th. Y'all know that was the last Xbox delay. To bring you Xbox One X and Xbox Series X gameplay. Okay. Yeah, so they're giving the it to Xbox One X and starts with Xbox a quest line X, called yeah. Automatic Love, where V is attempting Automatic to love. hunt down a missing person via any means necessary. Oh, well, it was a missing person now, in the interest of search time or and chase, to avoid spoilers, whatever. We have edited this footage, but it does mean that you'll still have plenty to discover when you play it for yourself on December 10th. Okay. The gameplay will be switching now, between Xbox One X and Xbox Oh, they're saying the gameplay is going to switch. X, I mean, and right. you can check in the corner to see which one you're looking at. Now, to be honest with y'all, at first, uh, for a second there, I thought they were going to delay it again. I thought I had seen an article talking about them delaying it again. And I was like, they already got death threats, which is absolutely ridiculous, by the way, from the delay to December 10th. If y'all were one of those people, seek help. Forget it's just a game. Games get delayed all the time. Oh, Mox game. Yo, first of all, Good shit, if I say so myself. for obvious reasons, I'm trying to Nobody get in with Mox game. Have you the seen um, the, the people in it? Like but, um... Damn straight. This this game is going to be. I mean, when we talk about ambitious, right? In the last year, everybody was saying that their next game was gonna be the most ambitious game yet, and you know, so far, they kind of have been. It's not even necessarily the most ambitious game we've ever seen, but for that developer, it's more ambitious. Although for this, this is gonna be up there for one of the most ambitious games we've probably ever seen, just because I, I mean, we never seen a first-person open-world game that has this much. It feels like it's gonna be. I mean, it is CD Projekt Red, so if y'all love The Witcher, you know what I'm saying? It feels like The Witcher, is, it feels like it's going to be a lot like that in the sense of how it's not, not even necessarily its mechanics, but, you know, how much you're going to be able to do, how much they're going to expand it with, all the choices, so you'll have different endings. Soon it's going to be like that. And it's taking place, you know, 57 years in the future, so there's that. You did quite well. Now, this is only a 10 minute uh demo so we'll probably they'll probably get into some action pretty quickly i see the only thing waiting for you here is getting off or getting hey it's keanu place your bets wow getting off or getting off really come on man could have done better than that man enlighten me brain dance chick is hiding something no coincidence we already saw two tiger claws they must control the building Think Judy's lying. Why? I swear, bruh. Little something called intuition, V. Ever heard of it? No, he disrespectful. Oh, so what you meant to say was you're he full of shit. Got it. Um, here's the thing. 
And I have not actually played any game with choices like this yet. Just so y'all know. Not really. It goes to Shima, Ghost of Tsushima. Because I can't speak. I had that one choice at the end of the game. And that was hard enough for me. But that was a, a tough choice. These are basic choices. Until I'm sure there's parts in the game where there's going to be tough choices. But. I haven't really played one. Because I didn't really. I didn't play The Witcher 3. Not go front. And I didn't play Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So. Those are the more recent ones that I can think of in my recent memory that I would have even possibly tried out. And, you know, I feel like the choices alone just make the game take that much longer. Um, which is why, on average, we probably played it for 180 well, hours have. over that 100 that they Anything, thought it was going to be. Whatever stands to fuck me up the quickest. At least part of it. I mean, keep this short you probably didn't get 80 more hours of people not being able to choose. But. A single day is too much, even for me. This guy. Hi! Um, Who's man is this? Something might have gone wrong here. Not really sure. Uh, put your. I don't have your details. Yo, put your clothes Sorry, on. Sorry, no idea what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> yeah, I have that bike. I know it. I guess they're just showing us. Okay. Well, it's it's, it's kind of weird how they're clipping it. They're editing it for us so that we can see the difference between the. So far, it's probably just my computer too, but I haven't been able to see too much difference. But I know there will be, obviously. I mean, the Xbox Series X is going to be more powerful. There's there's, there's no question. Um, I have not gotten one of my new systems yet. So, you feel me? I'm, I'm, I'm going to need to... When I have bread, I plan on getting both. You're hungry. You're busy. Oh, that's a pr oh, for a second, I thought it was a robot. I'm blind. That's cool. Although, I guess everybody in this game is, has just a cyborg almost. Oh, shit. Oh, this grenade. Oh, they're showing us the, uh, the achievements on it. God damn. Shit, man. Okay, he ain't getting back up. No boat. Probably gonna not show us too much on the Xbox Series X as far as what the achievements and stuff are gonna look like, cause I don't know. Oh, well, it's out. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's out. <laughs> I'm so used to talking about these these systems um, as if they haven't came out yet, cause most of our time so far has been spent talking about them before they came out. I don't even know what the the interface looks like on the Xbox Series X actually. Oh, she mad. Okay. I mean, this world is quite beautiful. I guess they really are just showing the differences in uh, graphics and looks. I don't know what to show you. Just walk by is. What, what's, what's her name? Fine Fingers Clinic. Okay. Well, so far, we've only seen one fight. This is mostly about... Uh, I think showing the differences between the Xbox Series X, the way it's gonna look, and the Xbox One X, which I said already, but I, I mean they're showing off a mission, but it it, it looks like it's, it's you know what I mean, <laughs> it's cool though. They do do this a lot with that uh the live wire jump. Well, Project well, Red's well, live wire. What we got here, and you just the cutest thing. If you're looking for a release, I just might be your man. Kindly get the fuck out of my way. Yo, you hear what this bitch Thanks, said sir. to me? Okay. Best watch your tongue. I'd say it again, but what for? Your little skull sponge can't possibly get its gray cells around it. This is gray. <laughs> Why is that funny to me? Of course that's the end in a fight. That's hilarious. You should have just walked up with the gun and started shooting. No go. Yeah, that was gonna go. Wow. Okay. I mean, I'm more than a chop doc. See, I know what, what people is truly want. Certain, bro. To be flattered, praised, patted. Let's do the way he on drugs, like, bro. No bull. Like they deserve it. Of course. I can't remember each and every one. Even if it's a specimen as exquisite as you. 
Oh, nah. She got kidnapped? Oh, shit. How you... That's ironic. You trying to go find a missing person, and then you end up being the missing person. How did they get her, though? Like, honestly, he must have drugged her, saying. She just took out four or five dudes, bruh. This is weird. Cyberpunk is gonna have a lot of wild stuff going on. I mean, we saw that from the alpha. I, I, I. So this is just to remind everybody that when Cyberpunk launches, it will work on both current and next-gen consoles. For example, if you pick you it up that. on Xbox One, it will also work on Xbox Series X and Series S. And it's the same for other consoles. Plus, there will be a free and full next-gen upgrade coming sometime next year. We're incredibly excited to welcome you to Night City when Cyberpunk launches Cyberpunk on December look dope. 10th. And um, I'll be back yeah, there's with not much Night City right now, it's, episode it, 5 it, on November 19th. Obviously, uh, like she just said, they were just kind of showing us the difference. We already know it's coming out on both. Um, that was a given. Uh, but that's cool or whatever. Um, you feel me? That's cool. You know what I mean? So, uh, we did know that already. Uh, obviously, like she said, the, the thing isn't, isn't coming out again until... I mean, they're going to have a full upgrade version by next year, which is probably going to be the case. For a lot of the games that came out at the end of this year, when the new systems came out, uh, I don't think the full upgrade for most of them is going to be out. The only one that might be out like really soon is, um, I, I guess Miles Morales already is, and I assume 2K is. Uh, I assume they'll make Madden for it soonish as well. Uh, sports games, I always feel like they'll quickly kind of. They don't. I feel like they have less to do. But then again, it depends on what you want to make the interface run. Because remember, for 2K14. You feel me? From the PS3 to the PS4, that jump was actually significant. Uh, you, it looked like a totally different game. So, we'll see. But, yeah, this is basically like just playing. It's like if you put your PS2 game in your old PS3 when they actually had it backwards compatible. Remember the first model was? It's kind of like that. Uh, it's not a full upgrade yet. But that's what's up. Um, I'm going to catch y'all next time. You feel me? I appreciate y'all for watching this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, again, the new name is Afro Yonko Gaming, but you could just type in Afro Yonko because I found a dead page. Like, there was no, nobody had that name. And, uh, I'm, you know, again, I got it because I'm a big One Piece fan. But we'll get into that more throughout my videos. But I'm going to catch y'all next time, alright? Peace.